Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Saska and this is Saska Digital Budgeting. In today's video, we are going to be budgeting and stuffing the first paycheck of September. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, guys, stay tuned. All right, so the first paycheck of September, let's get into it. So this week I got paid $1,879.20 um, but we're just going to be stuffing the 1879 the 20 cents can stay in my buffer. Um, this paycheck is the paycheck that I went on a little mini vacation, and then I was sick the, the rest of that week. So um, this paycheck is a little bit less because I don't have any overtime on it, and then um, I use PTO, so I don't have like my shift differential and all of the things that make my paycheck look a little bit better. But this is like a one-off paycheck, but that is a-okay with me. Uh, I'm not stressed about it. I can still pay my bills, right? That's the big part. Big part. Um, and then later in this video, I got a little bit of a exciting announcement when we get towards sinking funds. So um, let's go ahead and get on in to counting up this cash. It should be $1,879. All right. Hit. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. One, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, seven, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, eight. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. All right. $1,879 is indeed what we have. Now, as I organize all this money, how has y'all's week been? How did the end of August turn out for y'all? I hope it was great. Um... I don't remember my end of August. Oh, I was sick. That's why <laughs> I was sick and I didn't work a lot. So that's probably why I don't remember any of it. Anyway, let's go on and get on down into bills and uh, get to stuffing and paying those. All right. So rent is getting $730, which is a slight increase from what it normally gets because um, rent went up because it's a uh, end of the, I think it went up $5. Um, my renewal came up and they only increased my payment like $20 or something like that. Um, so, uh, that is only going up a bare minimal amount. So we are adding $730. All I'm gonna have to recheck it though, cause um, I don't really remember what it actually was. I don't, I don't know. Um, utilities is seventy dollars, or is getting seventy dollars, which is what it always gets. Sixty and seventy for utilities. Internet is getting its uh, as of late usual thirty-five dollars. Still haven't figured out why I don't qualify for that um, discount, but you know, whatever. Uh, car insurance is getting $126. Oops, get in there. One. So let's see. And then uh, power is getting its usual $30 here. And then I need to re replenish this. The summer months has killed this envelope, honestly. Vet bills is getting $34. That stuff is getting its usual 15. And then phone is getting 20 as per usual. And then subscriptions last here is getting its usual 
$28. All right. Okay, so that is it for bills. Bills paid, yay. All right, so we're gonna move on down to spending allowances. So let's find out what I spent last week, pull out all the extra cash, the leftover. Right, so gas, gas has $50. I didn't go anywhere. I had a week of being out of state and then um, being sick, so I didn't spend any money in gas. Um, food, we have, it's like $44 left over. Didn't spend all, all of that. Coffee has uh, 45 um, When I went on vacation, I put um, some money on my vacation envelope on my uh, Starbucks app because I was like, I'm on vacation, so I'm going to buy all the coffee I want. Um, and that covered me for the second week of this paycheck, so I actually didn't spend much. Um, general, I spent all of that. And then laundry, let's see, we've got $8 left over in here. So let's go ahead and try and organize all of this chaos. Hey, look at that. So we've got left over 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47. $147 that is going to be going towards my 100 envelope challenge towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's go ahead and restock these. Restock, restuff. Um, these haven't changed. Same that, keeping the same, uh, uh, I can't speak. They've been the same for, I don't know, a year and a half. Haven't messed with them much, haven't really needed to somehow. Food is getting 120, coffee is getting its usual 50. General spending is gonna get 60. Maybe if I can pick it up. And then laundry is gonna be getting its usual $10 here. All right, and then last here is just my, um, all my receipts for the pay period, um, or most of them at least, that I need to scan on into Fetch. Um, if you don't know what Fetch is, it's a um, app that you download onto your phone, and uh, what you do is you scan your receipts into the app, and you get points for those receipts, and sometimes you get bonus points depending on um, what the receipt is for, especially for groceries and stuff like that. You can get bonus points um, on certain brands and stuff like that. Um, and then those points that you get from the receipts, you can turn into gift, gift cards once you collect enough points. And those gift cards can be retail, they can be coffee, they can be food, um, restaurants, all of the things. It's actually pretty great. So I have my uh, referral code up here on the screen. If Fetch sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and use my referral code. You get some bonus points when you first sign up and scan your first receipt. And I get a little bit of bonus points for referring you. So go ahead and look on into that if it sounds like something that you're interested in. All right, so coming on, whoop, that was aggressive, over here to my sinking funds. Starting off here in the emergency fund binder. So in, starting off with uh, main savings, we're putting $187 because I always put uh, 20, 20%, 30, 10%, 10% of my paycheck into main savings every pay period. And this week is $187. So 20, 20, I can't speak or talk apparently. Um, speak or talk, that's the same thing. Count, count, speak or count. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87. So 187 is going on in. And that means we've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, One, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87. So 3,487, which is not that bad. <laughs> Alrighty, then moving on down, if I can get all this money in, to auto repair, auto repair is just getting 15, this money will be disappearing though, or at least most of it, because uh, 
my car is in the shop again. That's a, a, a whole a whole thing coming up. I will explain all of that in story time here in a minute. So we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. So 275 in auto repair. And then we've got emergency fund, which is just getting $30 this week. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty. So seven hundred and sixty dollars in emergency fund. And then up here is new car. And as you can see, it is not getting anything because I got a new car. Yay! Um, uh, yesterday morning, uh, my car, I was coming back from getting groceries and, uh, my car wouldn't start when I got out. Thankfully my boyfriend saved me. Um, but it wouldn't start. I don't know what it was. It's the battery has been replaced recently. The starter has been replaced. Maybe it's the alternator. I don't know. Um, so I made the executive decision, um, to send my car to the shop. And then, uh, me and my boyfriend went to a dealership and I got the truck that I have been looking at for an eon, it feels like. Um, so it was kind of like the last straw kind of thing. So it was kind of like impulsive, but also I've been saving and I knew I was going to be buying a truck um, here in the month of September, potentially October, depending on how things looked and whatnot. And I was just like, you know what? This is, this is the sign that I need. I'm going to go, going to go get a new car. Just it is what it is. So the um, previous car that I have, or the car that's in the shop now, is actually going back to my parents. I got it originally from my parents. Um, so I just made the decision to give it back to them. They wanted it back. So I'm going to fix it up for them, fix whatever the issue is, and then give it back to them. Um, they want to restore it. It's like a 22 year old car. They want to restore it. So I said, all right, I'll fix mechanically whatever's wrong with it currently, and uh, y'all can have it back. So um, this money, the long of the short is that this money, which should be 9,500, um, is spent. Uh, I used it all as my down payment and, um, coming up in the next, uh, couple of weeks, I will be starting to put aside money for, um, my car note basically. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that, that's it. So that's going to be, this envelope is going to move. I'm actually going to change the, the stickering here. And it's going to move over into the bills binder, basically. Um, my car insurance is likely going to go up um, a little bit. I don't really know exactly how much because <clears throat> um, I carry full coverage on my 22-year-old car. And I'm going to be carrying full coverage on my new car, uh, newish car. It's a 2020. Um, so my car insurance will probably likely change here coming up um, next pay cycle. And then... Um, my gas usage might change, will likely change. So it's a newer car, so I can drive farther on a single tank of gas, but it's a truck and I anticipate that the tank in the truck is going to be bigger than the tank in the Mustang. So, um, I might be tweaking, uh, my spending allowances as far as gas goes. So, uh, that's where that is at. So this money is coming out. So it should be 9,500. That's long of the short Five thousand six seven eight. 9,000, one, two, three, four, five. So $9,500 is leaving the table. And then this guy whoop, is coming out and I'm going to fix it on up and it's going to go into the bills binder. So that's just going up in there. So, uh, next time around, you will not see the new car slot. It will be gone, which is exciting because I am happy to have a vehicle that is less than five years old. That is so exciting to me. Um, but it's the first time that I've ever had a car payment. So that'll be fun too. Um, so let's move right on along to home. Home is getting $20 here today. So we have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 1,595 in home. And that is it for our emergency fund binder. And moving right along to our high priority sinking funds, starting off with school, school, which is getting $20. So 
So we have 120, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38. 138 in school. Um, month ahead is getting $10 today. So we have 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 50, 55. So 355 in here. Vacation is going to get 15. So in vacation, we have 1,200, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 57, 58, 59. So $1,259. All right. Me and mine here next is getting $20. So then it looks like we've got 100, 120, 140, 45, 146 in me and mine. Uh, new still has nothing. I don't know if I'm taking this envelope out yet or not. We will see, but social is getting $10. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. So $73 in social. Alrighty. Up next here is going to be pantry stock ups to start off our low priority sinking funds. Spent some money out of here uh, yesterday morning when I went to the store <laughs> and then my car didn't start. Um, so it is getting $15 today. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, and 62. And then Home Goods is getting at $10. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So what? Wait. 20, 30, 40, 45, 48. Sorry. My brain. I don't know why. It stuttered on that. Medical is getting $5. I had to replenish my medication cabinet because, um, you know, I was sick for a week, so I depleted it all. So uh, some money came out of this. 20, 40, 45, $50 is in here still, though. Yeah, I had to stock up for next time. Um, gifts is getting 20 or Gifts is not getting anything, but we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. So 95 dollars in there. I just decided not to put anything in here this paycheck because it's a smaller paycheck. Coming paychecks, they will be fantastic. Um, just not this one. Um, budgeting in YouTube is empty and it's getting ten dollars. So we've got ten dollars. And then last up here is yearly subscriptions which is going to get $10 as well. So we've got 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, $200 in here, which is great. Also the, um, sorry, we're back to story time. Since I bought my car at a dealership, I didn't actually think that I thought that they might do this, but I didn't actually think that they would do this. Um, tax tag and registration fees. Um, for the vehicle, I got to pay there and it got included in like my loan and all of the things. Um, so, uh, I don't have to renew registration on my, my car because my birthday's at the very end of the month, like September 30th. So I was holding off on paying, renewing my registration for the Mustang because I didn't know whether or not I was going to be getting a new car in September or a new car in October. And I was trying to get it in September so that I didn't have to renew the registration on the Mustang. Um, and I got away with it. So, um, I've got a little extra money for yearly subscriptions that, um, was planned for, for my registration and I don't have to spend it now. So that's great. All right. Moving right along. All right. Let's go on down to our savings challenges. Um, but the debt tracker here, I'm going to actually probably start using this. I'm going to change this here, um, to my car loan instead of adding it into the, the bills section, even though I'm going to like stuff it with the bills section, uh, just so I don't have to like do a whole bunch of tweaking to my uh, little form here. So um, the debt payoff is going to be for my car loan, which is a debt now because it is a loan. 
So that's going to be living right there. Um, so y'all know for, for, for future videos. Um, so let's get on down to the pay day challenge. Got paid on the seventh. So we're putting $7 on in here. Five, six and seven. And I threw the money. Oh no. So $7. It's going to be going on in here. Let me grab my pen so we can write it on in. So $7 in September. Yay. All right. And then what's left here should be $117. It's much less than what I normally put into my savings challenge stuffings, but it's a weird paycheck. So we're not even stressed about it. So it should be $117. So we have one 15 or 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So 117. So let's go ahead and get this all in there. And um, this is going to be about just a little bit under uh, $1,100 stuffing for my payday or my saving, uh, savings challenge stuffing here next week. So yeah, so that's exciting. So you'll just have to come back next week for that. So that's that money. And now let's go and deal with the Spending allowances left over here. We had a hundred and forty-seven dollars left over here. So let's get the handy dandy calculator. Huh, shove. And figure out what we're going to be getting marking off here. So let's see if we can get 93 and 54. Hey, perfect, right on the money. So we're gonna be doing um two, um, number 93 and number 54. Um, that is nice that it is, uh, the math worked out that way and I didn't have to do any mental gymnastics because uh, I was not looking forward to doing that. Mental gymnastics is not what I want to be doing right now. All right. So let's get this money added on in to here. If I can manage. All right. We're making some progress on this slowly, but surely. Slowly but surely. I'm thinking that this, this $5,000 is going to go towards the, uh, the car, the car loan. Once I finish it, I'm just going to throw the entire $5,000 at it because I don't like having loans for any longer than I need to. So, or debt even just in general. All right. So that is all I've got for you today. We did all of the things. We made some exciting progress with buying a new vehicle, which makes me so happy. Um, you have like, honestly, no idea. I've been wanting to buy a new truck, new, new to me truck for, I don't even know how long, like that's been my, one of my biggest goals, um, here for the past couple of years. Like I think even before I started actually budgeting on YouTube. So I'm super excited about that. So, um, I will catch you guys next week for the savings challenge stuffing, um, next Friday. So you guys have a marvelous rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend do something nice and relaxing and um, enjoy the start of the changing of the weather with fall as it starts coming in in your area. Right now for me, it's still hot. It's still super hot, even though it's September. Florida doesn't know what fall is, um, but I'm going to I'm going to pretend with, you know, my happy, dappy, pretty fall looking mats. So I will catch you guys next week. Y'all do something nice and relaxing. Do all of the things. And I will see you next week for that savings challenge stuffing. Peace.